uh, I'm at Angelo State University. I am the coordinator of, or I think they actually call it here, an advisor for their special education program. I am working to redesign and, and upgrade their special education program, and I am designing new master's levels program. The programs that we're designing will address the needs of students not learning disabilities. Dyslexia, because I am learning, I have a learning disability in phonemic awareness and phonics. Uh, that processing component it's heavily founded in phonemic awareness, which affects my phonics uh, ability to use phonics. But I also have dyslexia, uh, which means uh, most people would think that this means I have a reading problem. Well, it does cause problem with reading. But what I really have is I have more of a global look. Uh, I think by about third or fourth grade, the teachers kind of pegged me as a student who probably wouldn't be I was, successful. I think I was looked at as a student who probably didn't have a lot of potential and probably was doing the best I could. There were a few teachers who might have seen uh, maybe a little bit more possible potential, but for the most part, uh, I was seen as just a below average student, um, and the interaction was pretty limited. There were on occasions, uh, ever so many years, some teacher that would come along who would show an interest, and that interest always uh, kind of motivated me to hang on. Uh, I tell people, by the time I was in third or fourth grade, I really didn't like school, and I knew it. Uh, by the time I was in junior high, I wanted to quit school, but I couldn't get away with it. Uh, and by the time I got into high school, it was just a matter of time, because I knew it wasn't, I probably wasn't going to finish. Or if I did hang uh, in high finish. school, uh, <laughs> it was kind of like a... Uh, survival of the fittest. I don't know that uh, at that point those who wanted an education and who had the basic foundation could get an education. Those who had limited skills uh, or who are struggling or who lack foundation knowledge pretty much a lot got left behind. There was about 20% uh, or less of the class, uh, maybe even 25%, who really didn't get much out of the class. Our job was just to stay out of trouble, stay out of the principal's office. Uh, do the minimal you can to get by. Uh, and, and funny to say that, I, I wasn't all that successful, but uh, my grades always didn't reflect that because you had some kind of minimum grade you could walk away with. Although they weren't scared to fail you, uh, and usually you fail more for not, uh, not so much for not doing the work, but for causing problems. <clears throat>